Hello, welcome to the Gamo. Oh, that was. Oh. Hello, welcome to the Gamozo stream. Today we're going to be debugging a bug that's been pissing me off. Can't wait to figure that out. Woo! But first, but first I'm going to goo on my scissors because my scissors are, are very gooey right now. Being able to roll is a big upgrade. Bren Bren goes primogen. Yeah, welcome to the primogen stream. Today we're gonna we're gonna write some Go code and we're gonna explore other languages and then say that they're maybe better than Rust. Pfft. Asshole. Still no floor. There won't be a floor here for months. Julian C wants a plushie. We'll get to that once I finish being done with my Gugon. I love Gugon. I fucking love Gugon. Yeah, I was, I was, uh, I cut duct tape with my scissors a couple times, and now they're unusable. So let's see if this works. I've never Gugon duct tape. Come on. Restore my scissors back to their greatness. You know the Twitch Rust tag is for the game? Yeah. 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 I do know. <laughs> There's no way to know, though, you know? Isn't it just isopropyl? No, Gugon is, uh, something. Gugon is... Doesn't say. Someone mentioned it on chat once. Gugon's like some magic shit. If you've never used Gugon before, like, if you've ever, ever got something and you failed to, like, peel off a sticker and it, like, pissed you off, Gugon will literally take it off with, like, two swipes. It's, it's unreal. I don't, I don't remember what it is. I don't remember its active ingredient. But it, it is fucking insane. Like, seriously, if you've ever complained... That something is, uh, has stickers. I actually just ordered a new set of, uh, new set of wrenches. And they're like, oh, the stickers on the wrenches are a pain in the ass to come off. And yeah, I was like, I don't give a shit. I'll goog on them. Yeah, in two minutes, I was able to goog on all of them. Will it take away my depression? No. It'd be nice if it did, though. I don't want I don't want my viewers to be depressed. That's no good. Depression's not fun. Weren't you using Windows like two years ago? Yeah, that's I I I prefer Windows over Linux. Uh, but Windows has gotten unusable. And there's just a little bit on this side. I'm just gonna soak it a bit. Depression be gone when. Chat, no one in my chat is depressed. Everyone is very happy. Can we get some smiles? Can we get some smiles in chat? I'll probably not update to win 11. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Just gonna let that soak for a second. Windows 12 would be great though. Yeah, that's how it works. That's what I'm asking. You need a way to set up a dev end on my work laptop. Uh, install Vim and Visual Studio Tools and never used an IDE and you're good. <laughs> Come on. Absorb. Gone that goo. I think it's an oil as well. So I think it technically... I think it technically can lubricate, so I don't have to worry about lubricating my scissors. I don't know, maybe I should. CL is almost unusable for the from the command line? What do you mean? 
mean? It's completely, it's like the same as any other compiler. What's wrong? What? I'm so confused. It's literally the same. I would actually say that link.exe is way better than LD. Yeah, it's completely fine. You pass it a C file, you pass it flags. Just like anything else. LD, bro. LD is pretty bad. I don't like LD. Mold? Mold is coming up on this world. Okay, those scissors have been restored to their prime glory, their primogen glory. My country is on fire. Mm. Mm. You know, if we didn't have communists, that wouldn't be a problem. You know? Once, once again, communists stirring up all this shit in the world. <laughs> uh, literally 25% of build time in my job is just LD. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. Have you tried mold? Mold might literally drop and replace your problems unless you're using linker scripts. I also don't know how good mold is at uh, LTO yet. Well, live fast, die young, bad girls do it well. Okay, I think that's clean. Then we have to clean off my desk because I had oil on it. Get down. I love microfiber towels. I bought this like 30 pack of microfiber towels for about $5. And I have yet to throw even one of them away. I got it like a year ago. Anytime I need to wipe something down, I literally grab them. It's so much better than paper towels because it just... Anything that absorbs shit works so much better. LVM's LD is also way faster than Genio LD. Yeah. All right, chat. We're going to do... um. We're going to do a small dev project. Um... Oh, oh, I almost want to oil these. Oh, these right here. Most people have like families, significant others. These are what keep me going in life. It's an all metal pair of scissors. Instead of $8 for scissors, they're $20 for scissors. And it's just, the, there's no slop, there's no play, they're sharp. My other ones actually broke off at the handle, so most ones will have like a tang that goes to like here, and then you have the plastic handles. Cut hair. Mm. What's to cut? Uh, so I got one of these today. I'm excited to try it out. Um... I recently got one of the, like, iPhone MagSafe chargers, and it works really well. So I was like, shit, I wonder if there's a magnetic uh, car holder, because I fucking hate... Oh, the clips on car ho holders are shit. So let's see. Let's see if this works. Can, can, can lefties use it? Left-handed people or communists? Um, yeah... I'm left-handed, actually. And I don't think I got a left-handed pair. <laughs> Both. There's instructions. Who needs instructions on how to assemble a fucking mount? Okay? That's kind of cringe. Uh, oh, that's sticky. Shit. I didn't think that'd be sticky. I thought that was a suction cup. 
Is that permanent sticky? Well, let's put the protector back on there, I guess. Huh. I thought this was only going to be suction. Put that back on there. It's sticky and sucking, yeah. So I'm curious if that's a permanent thing, and I'm guessing you just forcibly push that on there. And if I loosen that, what does that do? That allows me to... Uh, I don't know what this... I don't know what this does. There's like a little screw here. Does this like pull out? Oh! 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 That's what that's for. Okay, okay. Okay. This is indexed. So that will like lock into specific places with a positive uh, lock, which is nice. There's a tab in the back. That makes it suck. Um, okay. Okay. And then this just slaps on the top. That's it. Oh, and that locks in. I see. So there's like a little screw on the back. If you unscrew it, then uh, this comes off real easy. And if you tighten it, then that locks it into place and will also start to lock it to the ball. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's see, let's see. Oh, that's interesting. There's actually a, a vertical indexing. I don't know if you see that, but like that will... So there must be maybe something in the bottom. I don't know. That's interesting. It's it's a pretty strong connection. Like that's fine for uh for driving around and shit. But yeah. Yeah, I don't use a case, right? This doesn't require a case or anything. Um but yeah, now I can mount this in my car and then I don't have anything like grabbing over the sides or the screen or anything cuz it's just on the back. So that's the that's my new purchase of the day. Yeah, big upgrade. I'm excited because the one I have like grabs around the sides and obscures the screen. Why don't you have a case? I've never dropped or cracked a phone screen in my life. And I've had phones for uh, a while now. And then it comes with another... Oh, interesting. So this is like a smooth finish so this is probably really easy to suction cup on and then this has a 3m sticky thing so this gives you like a base to stick to something so i guess this stickiness here they must have just used a sticky material to get a good suction cup seal but i don't think that's like a permanent sticky thing so or or i don't think that's a temporary sticky thing so i think that will obviously it will lose stickiness over time but I don't think it will uh, super fast. So that's kind of cool. All right. Then we got the cannoli. Julian C, you're the cannoli today. Just don't drop it, Lamau. Never dropped or cracked a phone. I'm just gentle with I'm just gentle with computers, okay? I recognize that these things are weak, and so I baby them. Alright. Hmm.
Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You wouldn't drop a terminal, yeah. Okay, uh, let's see. I want this playlist. I can't get you this playlist because it's just my YouTube on auto shuffle. And it, it it's going to take you for a ride, okay? It's got a little bit of everything. Are you a Chinese secret agent with that? You don't like my Huawei shirt? Who Who doesn't like my Huawei shirt? Ever hear about the Freedom Phone again? What do you mean? We have it. I didn't even notice. Green and gray don't mesh. Nope. I hate it. Take it off. Oh, jeez, Askel. Ch chill. Chill, okay? Relax. Relax. This is a friendly... This is a toss-friendly stream. My Huawei laptop is one of my favorites. Communist! Communist! I enjoy ads during my YouTube. Just, just pay for YouTube. Just pay for YouTube, okay? No hot tub today. You have to earn the hot tub, chat. Just give Google money, okay. Ah... Think about it. If you pay for YouTube and then use YouTube a lot, then technically Google's probably losing money on you. Big brain. Right there. Big brain. USSR compiles people, not code. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we getting cat people? Can it lose money faster? Ah, uh, no. No, Google's Google's going to be fine. I hate to say it, but they're going to be fine. Um, if you use uBlock, then you know Google is losing money on you. I bet they have some I mean, they probably have some shit. You're also losing bandwidth on YouTube. Ah, there you go. Big. Yeah, everyone turn up your YouTubes to five the thrill trillion K megabit terabit. What's the what this is Itji Ma by Keith Ape featuring a lot of people. <laughs> more I use YouTube, more money I lose. Opportunity cost. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's pretty fucking true. I don't know. How how educated do you think you could get off YouTube? How much do you think you could l learn from YouTube? <laughs> Probably a lot. I I have this challenge I really want to do with a friend where we basically try to figure out, like, how good can we get at a game before we play it for the first time by, like, Watching tutorials, studying, theory crafting, like figuring out strategy and stuff, and then playing it for the first time. Even when you're at undergrad level material, the stuff on YouTube is already pretty bad. Really? I thought everyone in college makes it through because they watch better uh, teachers on YouTube than the teachers they have. Too bad top channels make you lose brain cells. Well, then just watch this. See, we've got, we got brain cells here. There's a lot of material. I don't think it goes deep enough for a lot of stuff because the video, is, video isn't a good format. Oh, interesting. A game like EU4 is uh, good for that. Um... What is that? E EU4? European Union Fourth Collapse? Is that what that is? There are probably a million hours of playtime and strategy, guys. Oh, interesting. Indian Algo tutorials? Yeah. Not better, just a lot more. That's fair. Sometimes more is better for education because you can maybe get something that meets your particular style. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha. 
Well, when I started playing League after watching videos, I was really fucking bad. After three years, I still, I still am really bad. Uh, I got news for you. Ten years from now, you're still gonna be really bad. <laughs> Europa Universalis Four, our RTS map painter set. Interesting. You mostly can learn more from Wikipedia or from YouTube. Oh. I'm going to say YouTube. Um just because I think it's it's easier to consume YouTube even though I think Wikipedia is denser and theoretically a better format, I think due to the um due to the fact that it's easier to consume YouTube, you can learn more. Does that make any sense? Does that make sense? That's how I think about it. Like, like I know a lot of random things about history and shit that I wouldn't particularly know if it weren't for the fact that I have YouTube playing in the background 16 hours a day. But I often, if I get into something discussed in the video, I'll usually pause it and then look it up on YouTube or historical sites. Wikipedia is a good abstract if you know a topic. Yes, that's kind of true. It's especially for math. Math on Wikipedia, I'm sure, is just written by a bunch of undergrads who are trying to like show off how fucking smart they are. Because I'm pretty sure that half of that shit does not need to be described the way it does. YouTube for intro summary, then literally anything else to actually learn it. Yeah. All right, I'm going to order some Indian food. We're going to get some tikka masala because it's great. We're going to go with hot. And from this place, hot is complete. It's $20 now? Fuck me. Okay, we'll get four chicken tikka masalas. Chat, what else do you want? I just love tikka masala. I I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I know it's British food, but it's just, it's the pinnacle. I don't know why people get fucking butter chicken, though, because butter chicken is literally just a worse tiki masala. Um, I'm going to get, uh, I really want to get some uh, chickpeas. Um, I could also get some paneer. Ooh. Ooh, I could get a rack of lamb. A rack of lamb. I'm going to get a rack of lamb. That's not something I would normally get. Bam. 20 bucks a serving? Yes, sir. Welcome to, welcome to Uber Eats, and then I have to pay a delivery fee. There you go. 130 bucks for four meals. Five meals. Yeah, it's a scam. Uh, Uber Eats is an absolute scam. But chat makes me, chat makes me have to do this because I can't, I can't, I can't cook while I'm streaming, you know? So it's chat's fault. <laughs> uh, I use Bolt food. Did they name it after Usain Bolt? Cooking stream? I owe someone a cooking stream from like two years ago that I scammed. Uh, I should do a cooking stream. I can show you how to make pasta. As a math major, I agree some of it is written in a way too high level. Um, the problem is most of the real consumers of these pages just need information in a formal structure. Yeah. Yeah. I just think math people are just cringe, you know? Mainly because I don't understand it. Little math boy, I didn't even notice your name. Lil, Lil Math Boy. Mm -hmm. Uh, <laughs> I wouldn't guess you had a math degree, Lil Math Boy. Yeah, fucking nerd. All right, chat. Uh, we got two projects today. The first project, uh, someone start a timer. Start a timer, chat. We're going to do a project quick. 
Uh, we're gonna make something that shows the MPD current, uh, song playing. All right? How hard is this gonna be? We have to exit root dash name Astis. Yeah, let me uh, rearrange this. We're gonna switch to a different style then. Uh... Okay. Hey, welcome to the bottom of the screen. Yeah? Yeah, a bunch of bottoms here. Okay, so up in the corner, we can exit root to, to set this name. How does exit root name actually work? Let's figure out the API. We're speed running this, this project. Uh, docs RS, okay. Uh, wait, crates IO, uh, crates IO, and then we're X, X, X11, X org, X, X11 bindings in Rust. Uh, let's go docs, uh, uh, set root, uh, X set root. Okay, how do you set root, set root, set root? Root name name. How do you do this? What does X set root do? Uh, X set root name. X set root name in C. How do we do this? X set root command. Uh, okay. Ba 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 ba. Uh, dash name. Set the name. Set the name of the root window. Uh, set the name of the root window. X. Uh, okay. So this is name. Uh, we need to get the root window. Okay, uh, screen, root. Um, screen. Okay, how do we get a screen? Screen, 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 screen. Uh, I'm guessing that's what we need to get the, we need to get the root screen. And then we need to call name set thing. Uh, how do we do this? Uh, okay, so uh, what are we gonna do? Uh, gonna do? Gonna do? Gonna do? Do 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 Okay, we're gonna uh, ba 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 screen screen screen. We're gonna get the name of the screen. Any screen screen? Any screens? Screens? Any screens? Screen 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 screen. Extra name. Extra name. Any other? Any screen screen? Extra name. Extra name. That gives us a. What is this API? These are the raw bindings. This sucks ass. Are these? It, it, seriously, is that is that what it got for it? Is is the args are one, two, three? D we need to give it a display, a window, and a window name. So this needs to be the display. This needs to be the window. Can it be? Can any of these be null? Can we give them null? Uh, um, uh. What, can I give display null? It doesn't, it doesn't tell me. It doesn't tell me. Window name, can I say like root? X open display, okay, we got it. Cargo new bin, uh, 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 status bar. Status bar. Vim source, okay. Honestly, we could just invoke X set root, but I don't want to do that because I want to have millisecond level uh fucking date. <laughs> uh, okay, X to Z wants a British accent. Okay, we'll do a British accent quick. Let's bring in these bindings. Yeah. Honestly, do I even want the bindings for this? I don't think I want. Uh, bin is the default. Nah, I'm gonna fuck off. Uh, I, I don't, I don't, I don't fucking know that. Uh, a man X store name. Uh, man X open display. Okay, right. Uh, let's just, uh, we're gonna make our own bindings, right? Right? Because we're not gonna pull in a third party library. F a, a third party library? Blimey! Yeah? Uh, okay. And then this is just a, a U size. And then this is just a, a U size. And then, uh, X open display. Uh-huh. And then we'll just, uh, Z. We'll give it a Z. Uh, and I don't know what, uh, uh library that is. Library. Right, we got a, a library. Uh. Right. Right. 
Ah, uh, right. Not found in the scope. Did I typo? Did I make a typo? Uh, Rust X turn. X turn. What, what am I looking for? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, library, uh, name. Oh, uh, probably should say function. Yeah, what am I doing? We're not even close. Five minutes so far. This is not fucking great. Uh... Okay, let's just let's just actually read the code that we're writing instead of just pasting things. All right, undefined reference. That's fine. I forget the way that a link. There we go. There we go, mate. Uh, then name is X11. Let's fucking go, mate. Fucking easy. Uh, fucking easy. Right. Right. Yeah, that's what I fucking thought, mate. Yeah, fucking hell, mate. Let's make these a safe rust bindings. Yeah, right. Oh, let's go and do. No, we're not gonna. We're not gonna do safe bindings. Nah, fuck that, mate. Uh, X close display. Display e size. Uh, yields uh, an int. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, let's open the display, and then we'll uh, close it. Aha, uh -huh, right? There we go. There we fucking go, mate. That's a correct uh, little program there. Now, all we have to do is our uh, X store name. Or we can probably give it a display. I'm going to guess we can give it a null. And then we'll give it a, a string, uh, astiff. As pointer. Yeah. Yeah, brav. Brav. X store name. Uh, this is a display. Uh, this is, I don't know, a screen, I think. Something like that. I don't fucking know. Or then we got a window. I'm guessing that's a U size. And then we got a fucking window name. Yeah. Yeah, brav. Uh, name. Uh, const u8. And then we fucking go. Uh, what is it re? Uh, it, oh, just, just uh, doesn't return anything. That's, oh, it returns an int. Yeah, yeah. Or plus two. <laughs> what do you mean bad window? You're a fucking bad window. Shit. How do I open a window? Man, x open window. Man, x get root. Is there like an x root? Uh, x get x x get root window. Root window display screen. It's man x root. It's just called root window. It's just called root window. All right. Uh, unsafe. Let win. Uh, we'll say root is equal to this. E uh, root window. I would think it would have X in the name, but I guess it doesn't. <coughs> oh, uh, there's default root window. And then we can give it a display. Ah, there we go, mate. FN default root window display use size. Yields a uh, use size, which is the window. And then this is going to be root. And now we got root. Is that a macro? That's a macro. I'm going to guess that that's a macro. Uh, root window screen number. I32. I'm just going to assume that that's a macro. Oh, these are xlib. These are xlib. What's the actual way to get it? I use this. 
God, that site takes a long time to load. Uh, root. Uh, it looks like I need xlib. There's no x root anythings. I'll just pull an xlib. No flex zone. Is it just that lib xlib? My lib x11 has an x root window symbol. LXlib. Is it? Uh. It's some property of a display structure. Oh. What library? Is it CapX? I think it's xlib. Fuck. Root windows screen of that? What? Oops. Yeah, that's... In xlib, what is the name of the xlib library? Wait, is there an x out front? <coughs> Chad, I'm so confused. We're not working on... Okay, that works. And it said it! We did it! Yeah! All right, how many of these can we do per second? Uh, uh, four blah and zero. I don't know. We can just time it from the whole application. How much perf do we have here? Not much. Very little perf. And I think I just crashed X. I can no longer click. I can no longer click on Windows. I can no longer change Windows. And, oh, there we go. It just came back. Okay. Uh, let's try a, th a thousand. Uh, okay. Hunter and eight. I think that's queuing it up. Yeah, my whole th system like freezes for a second or two while it probably consumes this from a buffer. Um, okay, so I don't think I can have millisecond granularity on my fucking clock. I was hoping I could, but I don't think I can. I think we want to set a refresh rate. Well, I guess there's no reason to have the refresh rate past our monitor refresh rate. Uh, okay, so we're just going to do a loop. And then we're going to do a standard time, a thread sleep duration from millis. Uh, from nanos. 1e9, that's nanos. Divided by 144. I'm guessing this is uh, U64. Take your white washed walls. Use standard time duration. Unreachable expression. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, we don't need that. Get rid of that shit. Get, get, get it out of here. Uh, okay. Is this fine? Let's see what my CPU usage is for X. 13%? I think that's just 
the baseline of using X. Let's see if it drops. No, it doesn't drop. Okay, I, I think I'm using basically zero CPU. What about my application itself? Where is it? What's it called? Status bar? Yeah, we've used... Yeah, we're, we're... Okay, we're really not using that much CPU. Okay, our application is very lightweight. All right. So now we need to get time. I don't know how to get time in Rust. Uh, system time. I think like Unix. Oh, do I have to? I'm going to have to bring in Chrono, don't I? Because I, I can't get a time in Rust. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. And then what do I want to do? Local now. <laughs> um, then we're going to do a uh, uh, string. Let string is format local. And then we have to, we're going to manually null terminate it. <laughs> Because I will save time. You can use sys standard system time, but yeah, I can't get I can't get a I can't get a date, and I can't get a, a a time. I can get a Unix time only. That's it. Uh, okay. Uh, use Chrono date time local. What is this? What is this update rate? What? What is this update rate? Is that just DWM only checks that on that time? I think DWM must just pull it on an interval, I guess. That sucks. Unless it's because I'm blasting it too fast. Uh, let's just do, uh, let's do five updates a second. What? What? Am I stupid? What? What? Okay, it's just going to be a, an incrementing number. Okay, it just doesn't work anymore. What? 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 Am I what? What's wrong? What? What am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong? Am I crazy? How did, what is wrong? What am I doing wrong? Someone please salvage me. Save me from my pain. Slap a print line. That's a good one. The Duke 64, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime. 
Yeah. It's okay. Uh, let's see what it returns. Fucking hit some bitch from his side. One? Is that an error? Man, X store name. Uh. Uh. Oh, the it doesn't it doesn't give a return value. Oh wait. If it succeeds, it returns a non-zero value. Okay, let's try X. Let's add an X closed display. Uh, yields an I32. Because that is successing. Okay, and then we're just going to unsafe X close display. Okay, uh, is there like a flush? Um, I don't know. Is there like an X11 flush display? Because I, I think I think if we do this, it will work. X flush? Oh. X flush. Nice. X flush. Disp. Let's go, let's go. Chat, raise your poggers. Let's go! Let's fucking go! Let's go! Yes! Yes! Woo! 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 Oh, that's definitely 144. <laughs> that's definitely 144. Yeah. 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 Get the fuck out of here. I love this song, dude. Tell me that ain't nice. Tell me that ain't fucking nice. Do you like my clock chat? <laughs> I like my chat. Okay, uh, let's, uh, let's make our own clock now. Too many sig figs? Nah, there's nothing, there's never such a thing. How do I format? Date time format. Stir of time. All right. Uh, I'll take the year. I think I'm okay with the year. Uh, so I just call format and it gives a, what, I don't know what a delayed format is, but it, it gives me something. Let's just try this. Uh, local dot format percent Y. Is this just the year? Got okay. Uh, that, well, that's uh, that's not what I wanted. If I'm if I'm gonna be honest, that is not what I wanted. Uh, format. I get a delayed format. Oh, do I not want debug? I want display on that. Okay, there we go. That works. All right. Let's see what we want. Uh, we want year. 
month. Month number is a lower M. And then day, day number zero padded. So the year, zero padded to four digits. M, month number, zero padded to two digits. I like zero padding on these if you can't tell. Day number, zero padded. Uh, okay, perfect. That's a date. Now we want probably cap H. Hour number, 23 hours, zero padded. H, is it going to be cap M? Oh, I can do percent T HMS format, same as HMS. Uh, so I can do percent T. Oh, there's probably a shortcut for YMD as well. YMD, uh, which is the same as percent F. Bam. Okay, and then we want millis. Uh, percent dot three F. Left aligned, fixed to a length of three. Uh, okay, I say uh, percent three F. Nice, and that's zero padded. Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Uh, can I get a time zone? I do want the time zone string. Uh, time zone name? Local time zone name. That's supposed to be the time zone name, but it's not. Okay, so we're just gonna not have that then. It drops frames? What do you mean? What do you mean it drops frames? Still not 144? Yeah, no shit, it's not 144. You're watching on a 30 FPS stream. You smooth ass fucking brains. I'm not seeing any dupes. It is, it is moving faster than I can read it. <laughs> like, I, I, like, I cannot, I personally cannot tell that that is not updating at 144. Freeze for like one frame, I have never seen that happen. I think that might be an artifact of the encoding and screen capture. My stream is not dropping frames. At least none of the stats are going up. Like literally the numerical number is not going up. But yeah, to me, to me that is definitely refreshing at full. I mean, it could be refreshing at 60. Nope, that's definitely a slower update rate. No, it's, it's absolutely at least 60. I'm pretty sure it's at 144. Because if we overdrive this, if we say 10,000, this will fall behind. Yeah, see how now the time is in the past? I think it's in the past. Maybe not. No, I think it's fine. So we can actually overdrive that. We're not going to. It's it's consuming it. It's rendering it as fast as the window manager can display it. It's definitely at it's over 60 FPS. And there we go. Um All right. It sleeps for 144. You don't subtract the sleep the time the loop takes. Yeah. Okay. How do I get the MPD song? Docs, RS, MPD, there's just going to be an MPD crate, and we're just going to grab it, right? We're just going to use whatever crate. A client library. Connect. Load. Play. I want status. Give me that. Uh, MPD is star. Then we're going to do let... Use MPD clients. 
Uh, then we're gonna do MPD uh, or clients connect one two seven zero zero one six six zero. I'm guessing that's default. Let MPD is this. What do I have on a client? Status. I'm guessing I can do status on that. Uh, this MPD status. I'm guessing this will panic if I don't have MPD started and running. <laughs> 22. Unwrap. Okay, what the fuck is status? Why does this need to be mute? Okay, uh, let's see what status is. Unless I can, like, get the song name here. Seek. Q. Current song! Ah! Uh... So that will get me song, but that won't get me the seek. I like the position in the song too. That's, status probably has it. Yeah, song, next song, time, elapsed, durate. Oh, fuck yeah. It's just in status. Do you want to get this at 144.10? Why the fuck not? Who cares? It's like, n it, this is basically never. Like, this effectively never happens. 144 times a second is extraordinarily rare. Uh... Uh, let song is equal to, uh, okay, I'll do this. That's a Q place. Mm. This doesn't give me the song. Yeah, it gets me the song place. So I also need a uh, song. Current song. Let's just do that for now. Uh, song, result, and this should panic, probably, because I don't have a song. Because I'm not playing. No. Oh, because it's paused. If I clear my playlist, then this panics. Nice. Okay, so we'll have that uh, fail open. Uh, song, info is equal to this. Uh, dot, mm, okay, dot, can't you, uh, can't you collapse a thing? Isn't there a way to, um, how do you collapse it? There's a thing for it, I think. Right? I can and then it, but I'm pretty sure that there's like a thing flatten. Option. Yeah, there we go. Okay, perfect. So right now this is none because I have nothing playing. And then if I start playing a song, then uh, then I get some stuff. Perfect. Let's go. Uh, okay, so then uh, we're gonna map this. And then we're gonna format the song. Um, I don't know. What are your thoughts here? Um, song dot name. Song dot. What's a name? A title. 
Do I not have like an artist? Fuck me. Okay, let's see what a uh, let's see what a uh, a uh, name is, I guess. Fuck. 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 Uh, twenty-three. Unwrap. Uh, okay. Title. Uh, how do I get the artist? Tags. Oh, they're arbitrary. I see. Okay, uh, let's do, let's just do a printlin of this song. Let's see what we have at our disposal. Uh, uh, map X Aster. Uh What? As ref? What the fuck? Where am I? Is it here? Why is it, who owns it? Do I own it? Oh, because it's behind an option. Fuck me. I don't want to think about this. Uh, title. As ref, there, didn't I try that? No, I didn't, okay. Uh, album artist, okay. Uh, song artist album. Uh, unknown song, song tags, uh, get artist. I think song artist album, I think is what we're going to do. Uh, get the artist. Um, as ref map, that doesn't need to be ref anymore. X. Esther, unwrap or unknown artist. Yeah? And then album. Where's this print? Up here? Something like that. Yep. Um uh no uh no MPD song uh or what uh uh well, how do I say this? Like no song playing, no song Uh, I could do an empty string. I can't do that. Um, fuck do you mean? 
The fuck do you mean? What the fuck do you mean? No, what do you mean? Okay. And then... Was it year? Date? This song is Bones Rest in Peace. Gamboza learning references. Fuck! Do I want the date? I kind of like the date. I, I, I personally really like the date. I know chat doesn't really go on many dates, but let's grab the date as well. I've only seen dates in Excel. Uh, what did I miss here? What did I do wrong? I put a semi in. Beautiful. Okay, do current time. I can do that. I have to do status. So none of these can fail. Yeah, we have no, we have this unwrap, um, mpd dot map. This. Uh, this. A uh, ref option string. Um. What? On this, 36. What? Now, I, I, I don't know what lifetime we're at now. I'm just gonna randomly guess things until it works. What is this? This should be like an option string. That's what I want. I want that to be an option string. And it's not. It's a result. Ah. Uh, and then. Oh, that moves that. Yep. Oh, fuck. As mute. Ah, perfect. There we go. Okay, and then if I... Uh, MPD, there's probably dash dash kill. We're gonna kill MPD. Here we go. No song playing. It starts up. That's fine. What's, let's see if I... If I start MPD, it won't pick up on it. No. Mm, I don't like that. I, I want it to automatically... Uh, when I kill it, it it stops doing its thing, but okay. Uh, if mpd is none, mpd.connects, uh, mpd is equal to this. Or if it's uh, is error. Um, there we go. Okay, so mpd is not running right now. And let's see how, how much perf I'm using now. 
Uh, filter by status bar. Yeah, we're really not using that much CPU. I mean, we're using a lot more than I would like to use. So we can, we can chill this out up a smidgen. Um, but okay, so this is running. We run MPD. It shows up. I kill MPD. It goes away. Uh, but then I can't cycle it. Okay. Um... Uh, I'm going to do if mpd dot, uh, hmm, <laughs> or mpd dot, uh, as mute dot map x x dot status i can do and then here i think depending if it's the same thing um what does that return status status that is a result i'll just and we'll okay both of these Uh, if we didn't connect to MPD or MPD is not giving us a status, assume we need to reconnect. So now I should be able to round trip it. MPD is killed. I start MPD, it comes back. If I kill MPD, it goes away. If I start MPD, it's back. Let's go! Let's fucking go! E Z. E fucking Z. E Z. Okay. Yeah, yeah, let's get some claps out here. We are using 3% CPU, so we're gonna calm that down a bit. Last MPD is instance now. Why do the option conversion? I just don't know if it's the same result or not. That's the only reason. Because if these are different, if these are different results or different error types, then this won't work. And uh, it might. Let's see. I just didn't want to check. I didn't want to think about it. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. One's a reference to an error, and one's an error. So that's that's why. That's why, Desu, get the fuck out of here, Desu. With your bad ideas. Shit idea, Desu. Shit idea. Maybe he's, he's put that. I'm getting to it, Gramonja, okay? Fuck. Piss. Ah, uh, fucking hell, mate. I think in my food here. Oh, my food. My food got here like 45 minutes ago. Brav. My food's been here for a fucking long time. All right. All right. We're going to do Perth. F last MPD dot elapsed as sex with something chess never had greater than or equal to 1.0. <laughs> the sad. <laughs> it's okay, chat. It's okay. You're not being judged. Uh, song info. This uh new info. Uh, new info is this. Then we're going to do song info dot clear. All right, we're going to... Oh, so right now, it's really simple. Right now, we're just making a status thing so that we can see the time and the current song because a lot of people in chat have been whining and bitching. And so for us, this is so fucking easy. So we're just going to put it in here. All right, and uh, uh, mute song info. 
Oh, new info. Uh huh. I'll update the info. Right. Right, bruv? Yeah. Yeah, let's fucking go, mate. Oh. Okay. Okay. Can't you just use a higher sleep? No, that would affect the time, mate. I don't want my time to be non milliseconds. Or like a millisecond time, yeah? Yeah? There's, I can just extend this. Why am I doing right? What am I doing? I could write directly to song info, maybe? How do I want to do this? Okay. Uh Okay, and I don't like that it takes a second for it to come in. I don't think there's a better way for me to do this. Oh, we can as ref unwrap. Set it to a low value. Uh, you can't you can't make instance in the past. Uh if it's none, or the value contained in it as seconds f64 is greater than or equal to 1.0, type must be known. Okay, so then this is like always updating really fast like so my perf's gonna be bad my my perf is gonna be like chat style perf Status bar yeah, yeah 2% CPU usage. That's a problem so we can fix that by going and uh, Actually setting this at the end last MPD is some instance now uh, store the time store the time of the last MPD update Boo 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 do boom bump 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 Oh, we'll just do this uh, And I want the time to be more accurate so we'll move it down here uh, clear the status now we're not even going to be doing allocations ourselves, but these libraries are probably going to do a trillion. Uh, okay, and then we're going to write into status bar. Status bar. Oh, this is not going to work. This is not going to work. Um, yeah, we need to cache the song name. It's fine. 
Um, okay, and then this won't work if MPD is killed, then we get that, which is a problem. And that is just here. Um, if that is error, then uh, write song info no song playing dot unwrap. Oh, is uh, none. Okay. That's that needs to be cleared outside. No song playing. MPD is killed. Start MPD. It shows up. Takes a second. That's a long ass delay. Killed it. Gone. Start it. Back. Kill it. Gone. Start it. Back. All right. And what's my CPU usage at now? Uh, fucking zero. Uh, one? One percent? No, it, it, it's very little. 0 0.16, 0 0.17, 0 0.19, 0 0.20. It's still a lot, but we're refreshing this a shit ton. Um... But then we can just change that refresh rate. I don't really know where CPU time's going. It's probably an X store name. Like, this probably isn't meant to be called 144 times a second. Still have an allocation at the end. I know, I know, I know. I'm fine with that. It's fine. It doesn't matter. It's free. It's free. All allocations are free. Uh, okay, all allocations are not free. Uh... Uh, okay. Status. There you go. Now we're not even doing allocations. Uh, still same CPU usage. It's like maybe 1%, which is a little high. The libraries do, Alec? Of course they do. So how many of these updates can we do without eating into our CPU usage? Oh, that didn't change CPU usage at all. It's still the same. It's still at like, now it's 24, 25. Yeah, it's like sub 1%. Okay, can I do 01? Probably not. Let's see what we're at now. Now we're... Now this number's climbing faster. And this is now going to be every time, basically. Does anyone know why sometimes the filter... Like, sometimes things just stop showing up in HTOP. Like, HTOP just forgets about things. But if you restart it, it shows up. Honestly, we can almost do that every time. It's a little bit of a hit. We're going to do it every uh, 10. We'll do it 10 times a second. I think 10 times a second is going to be fine. Add CPU usage. I think, I think people who have CPU usage in a status bar are cringe as fuck. It's like a bunch of people who think they're like being elite hacker, but they don't know that they're actually just being cringe. Um... God, honestly, I can almost have that updating every time. We're just going to have it update every time. And then we're just going to adjust the update rate ourselves. Okay? Because checking for that is expensive. It's not free. Okay?
Uh, here. If that's an error, or uh, getting the status is an error, then reconnect. Then we try to query it. Looks good. This is now, uh, we're just concatenating here with dash time. And then I'll turn me. Now it's good. Yeah, it's about that 1% CPU usage. And I can just drop that by changing this. We can change to like 60. Okay, apparently this is basically the same CPU usage somehow. I don't really know how. And I need a space here. Now that it's not building, we can actually use the time that we're getting from this. So let's just run this for 10 seconds, I guess. Then we can get an actual CPU usage here. Uh, let me... Uh, IT is instant now. Uh, standard time. Uh, while IT elapsed as sex S64 is less than... Oh, yeah, and let's kill MPD. It might be way slower if MPD is is off. That could be one of the things. Uh, let's see what happens here. Uh, if it's less than 10 seconds. So this program will only run for 10 seconds. That doesn't need to be mute, but that's okay. Uh, we got to restart it now. There we go. And we'll be able to use the user time roughly here. Actually, we should directly invoke it if we're doing this. There we go. Now we can use the user time as a, a pretty accurate estimation of the actual CPU usage here. Okay. And that looks pretty good. So this divided by 10 is our CPU usage, right? Uh, times 100 for the percentage. About 0.44%. Okay, let's try it with, uh, let's try 144 updates. Baby! Little kiss from Rose. How is that, like, barely any slower? That's with MPD killed. Let's have MPD running. Let's see if MPD running is slower or worse or anything. 52 millis user time. I guess there's a lot of sys time. Okay. Oh, it's faster now. I think this is fine, chat. Are people okay with this? This is at 144 updates. It's definitely not doing 144 updates. It's no longer running 144. And I think that's because this is blocking it. Baby. Time to thread? That's what I'm thinking right now. Yeah, now that your rose is bloomed, light hits the moon. No, it's it doesn't feel one forty four anymore. Maybe it is. Rose on the grave. That's definitely not 144. I don't like the fact that this could cause a stutter. 
This could theoretically cause a stutter. I don't like that. So they're going to do a thread. Uh, was it pool? 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 No. Uh, uh, spawner, spawner, spawn, uh, uh, scope. Uh, MPD status thread. Uh, X spawn. Baby. I think we're just going to connect every time. Kiss for the rose on the grave. Ooh, angels, yeah. Now that your rose is bloomed. I don't know. We had the code to not connect every time. It's technically more correct. Right? There it is. There it is. Here. Yeah, this. The song actually is unbelievably good. Really, really good song. Uh, status clear. Uh, clear the status. Um, baby, I, can, I don't know the words of the song. Ooh, backseating Dasu and backseating Dasu. Did someone just use their channel points? I don't I don't know. I don't think so. No rat jam. Do I not have no rat jam? Yikes. That's kind of cringe. Why am I doing an else? Hmm. So this will fail. Yep. We're going to connect on this thread. We're going to have song info in a mutex. And then status is going to be up here. We'll actually open X there. Uh, connect to X. Clear the status, get the time and make the status message, write and flush the status. We're going to sleep at the start. I don't like that. We'll do this. Uh... Let's song info is song info dot lock on our app mutex. Kind of cringe, but it's okay. It's a very uncontested mutex, so it doesn't matter. Thank you so much for the nine months, supping bitch. 
I should probably get my food. It's been sitting outside now for 30 minutes. <sighs> Fucking hate Twitch chat. How long does this lock live? Does it live just for the call or am I holding it until asleep? Does anyone know? How long does this, how long does this live? Call only? How confident are you on that? Keep in mind, this is also a macro. I'm not even certain. What if I put it in this? What if I put it in curlies? Does that do anything? Probably not because it still needs the original. We're just gonna do this. Okay, now we'll see how much CPU this uses. So we're updating 10 times a second. Uh, we're updating 10 times per second for the MPD stuff. And I should be able to round trip it if I kill it, start it, kill it, start it. Yeah. And then the time, this is very minimal, clear. We get a lock, we then drop the lock, store the name, we have to flush, then we sleep. I think this is good. I think we did it.
Tell me, tell me that doesn't look fucking good, chat. Oh, oh. Back the fuck up, I dismiss you. Is that lamb? Yeah, it is. What the fuck, ooh, you? And then I got some dipping sauce. I don't know what it is. I think it's tiki masala sauce. In you, you should get fuckboy tattooed. I don't know what kind of sauce it is. It's a little dark for a tiki masala sauce. It might just be spicy. All right. What are we going to do while we eat? We going to add support for... Uh, we going to add support for the... Uh, what were we going to do? Because we like just didn't do a lot, right? Um, status. This is not super efficient because we do status up here, but we're going to do MPD dot status. Okay. Uh, yeah, what is status return? Result status? Oh, that one we don't have to flatten. We're gonna do okay. I'm not a cat. I don't say meow. Oh, and then... Um, discard that. This a bitch, I'm too smooth. Elapsed and duration? Thoughts? Elapsed and duration? Um... Uh, I got rid of that. There we go. And then if I play the song, where's my MPD? Uh, yep, that's the length of the song. Fuck yeah, fuck yeah, easy. Easy. Mm. These are both options. It tastes good. I don't know. I've only bitten into the rice because chat doesn't stop bullying me into writing code. Um, write song info. Um, how do we want to format this? Well, it's not warm anymore. Oh my god, that's fucking good. <laughs> oh my god, that's good. Mmm. Mmm. Spicy too. Fuck yeah. I can do this. I don't know if I like this yet. Uh, elapse this. Um, I'm guessing there's a dot trunk.
Thoughts? I think that's ballpark, right? There's floor, but I think there's also trunk. Map X. Map X. But I have to charge. There's what? You fucking what, mate? I do like trunk more. I mean, I can just do minutes, numb minutes. I could do that. How do I make a new one? Can I make zero? Nice. All right. Perfect. Uh, what do I know? And then this back and then. I need to pull in duration from Chrono. Uh, we need to lock this down quick. And then unwrap. No clear on that. Why is it doing that? Why is it doing that? Minsec, minsec. What would possibly be causing that? Let's comment this out. Just look at only that. Oh, num seconds is not mod seconds. Total number of whole seconds. I see. Mod 60 on that. There we go, 358. That looks correct. Technically, I should round those to the nearest, because then, I, I don't know. Flo I think I like floor here. I guess I'm not controlling that anymore. Uh, so why is this not working? Oh, because it's racy. We need to hold this lock the whole time. There we go. Yeah? Chat? Doubters? Any doubters? You're locking across a net request. Um, okay, fine, Desu. Go fuck yourself.
Yeah, now do you feel like a bitch? Yeah? Yeah, now do you feel like a little bitch, Desu? Wee, I'm Desu, I'm a little bitch. Now it's good. You like that now, Desu? Never trust Desu. I think this is acceptable. Dude, this shit is crack. Oh my god. Holy shit. Holy shit, that's good. Does it work? Does it work, chat? Come on, break off. There we go. Wrong display. There we go. DWM only shows it on your current display where your mouse is. All right, we're testing now. Now we're testing while I eat. All right, chat. Let's get a good rant going. Mm. Oh my fucking God. This is unreal. Mmm. Mmm. Holy shit. Oh my God. Is it vegan? Yeah, it's vegan. Would you describe it as succulent? <clears throat> um, yeah. The lamb ate vegan, yeah. Holy shit. Chad, do you think the song is gonna change or do you think my code's gonna panic? Why do we have so many doubters? <clears throat> Dude, this is something else, man. Holy dick. Did you, you are what you eat me with a sheep? Mmm. Mmm. I'm not even using the sauce. We'll know in 30 seconds. Oh. Oh. Sorry, chat. 
I have to eat, and I have to eat this with my hands, so I, I can't really work while eating. I'm just eating what the globalists made you eat. Shit. Hey! Hey! Look at that! Fucking doubters in chat? Doubters? Mm. I'm just doing some mukbang. I really do like the millisecond resolution on the time. It reminds me how fast time is passing and how shitty my code is. We don't rant. We don't rant on this stream. No rant. No rant here. Mm. Oh, I'm in another fucking dimension right now. I should be eating the rice. Oh, I got, also got some lemon. I'll squeeze the lemon over the rice. Fuck yeah. What hard race condition are we debugging? I don't want to talk about it yet. Got a Huawei shirt? Damn right I do. I won it at a hacking competition. Technically, I didn't win it. I was given to it as a pity, pity reward. Kitchen nightmare style recovery of failed software dev companies by streaming at them and teaching them rust. I would enjoy that. Is this code GitHub ready? I think so. Are there any flaws in this code? This is some quality code. Do you like how I handled my null termination of the string? By, uh, by just putting a null at the end of my string? Oh my god, chat, this is so good. The little lemon s squeezed over this was the- was bis. Sorry, Chad, I have to eat today. I know people leave when I eat, but I have to. What else am I supposed to do? I'm sorry I have fucking dietary needs. Assholes. Do you order food every day? No. I order it way more often than I should, but I mean, I'm for it. It might be 10 times more expensive than it should be. 
But I can't say I give a shit when I get food like this. How much did this cost? Like 140 bucks for a trough of food and then this. Which is probably six meals, six or seven meals. It's very expensive. Mm. This is unbelievably good. Unbelievably good. Ever read any article on the Stack Overflow blog? No. You think I use Stack Overflow? Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Fuck me. God, that's good. God damn. Holy shit, chat, that was good. That was really fucking good. All right, let's demonize this. <laughs> and by demonize, I mean run it with at or and, and then exit. There you go. Was that too hard, chat? <sighs> All right, let's uh, let's kill some bots and then we'll talk about what we're gonna work on today. And how do I play this in a smaller window? I want it in windowed mode so we can see. Can I not resize it? You can't resize it? That's fine. It'll just go off the bottom of the screen. There you go. Now you can see the song info. You like that, chat? And you can see the time. 
my back. I never meant to be cheated like a psycho. We're gonna we're gonna play again. I think it was the I played another map yesterday, and it was really easy against bots. You want to see what it's like, chat? One bot godlike. We're gonna play this Solarium map, which I'm kind of learning. I played it yesterday, but I don't think the bot knows how to play this map correctly. I, I should be able to just absolutely clobber it. Finally, I can make NTPD Twitch OCR. That's how it goes. All right, so today we have to uh, we have to put some gambling down. Chat, raise your hand if you're ready to gamble today. Oh yeah, we got oh. Ease, ease, easy first blood. I don't like using the rockets. I'm not good at them, so we're gonna get the mortar. Oh, it's not spawned right now. Even magic. I've never fallen from these habits. No, who's ever really static? Oh, 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 I got all the power-ups. Let's go. Where is he? Bam, ease. About of no sun comes up, rain comes down. Where are you at? Where is this guy? There he is. Ease. Yeah, I don't know why the bot's so easy on this map, man. Makes no sense. Maybe this map just has more resources for me. So map control doesn't matter as much. So it's more about... uh. <clears throat> Fuck me. I should be dead here. Yeah. Is this Zonotic? This is, yeah. I misplayed that. I should have de-escalated. No, don't get all set on it. And the other thing is the bot doesn't like to path into that room. I'm fucking dead. Get all set on it. So, yeah, the bot doesn't like to path into this room, so I can pretty much always get the next back. He might get strength here. He's getting in position. Oh my god, how- Oh my god, he knocked me off it. Okay, okay. Okay, it, it's just when I'm streaming, I play worse. <clears throat> Look. Well, he had the thing, so I, it was just insta-death. There's nothing I could do there. And I got... Oh, I'm probably dead again. Yep. Yep, yep. It's just when I'm stre it's the uh, pressure because when I'm streaming, the uh, the weather and uh, tidal storms with uh, 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 the bursts of cold, um, yeah, something like that. I don't know. There it is. Thirty three. Let's start doing map control. I don't have sniper, so I'm fucked here. I cannot win this fight. This is not a fair fight! Fuck! He is worse than I am in league. 33. So we're coming back to... Oh, he... Wait, was it 33? It already spawned again? I feel like we just did that fight. All right, let's go get some resources this time. He just got the armor, so he's pretty strong. He's bad in water, though. 
He's now we've established dominance again. Uh, there we go. 54. Oh, it's counting down. 54. So next one is at 24. 24, chat. Remind me of 24. Okay, so today we're going to basically be, uh, we're going to be debugging and just testing cannoli. Uh, I haven't really gotten to use cannoli yet. And when I haven't been able to use cannoli, that means there's just going to be a lot of bugs because everything's kind of based on what I think might work. And I need to really use code if I want to test it. Okay, uh, 18 minus 30 is uh, 58. No, 48. I'm really bad at math. That's one of the reasons I'm bad at this game. This one he got recently... So we have a 48. Oh, he got strength. Oh, do you see that nade? Oh my god, I hit a nade from across the map. Let's go, baby. Baby cakes, let me get out of here. He just got that at 49. So I can go grab this because it, bam, that spawned. Done. 44. So that's going to be at uh, 14. 14 and a little bit after 14. So then we want to go get the armor out here. His strength should be worn off. This looks like the best corner on the map. I hit that next. I hit that next while falling. Let's fucking go. Get out of here. Oh my god, he's got so much fucking armor, dude. Uh, so I missed this. He would have gotten it. Yeah, he just got that. So he's got a lot of health and armor right now. He doesn't have good weapons yet. He'll have the rocket launcher. And he's gonna open with the rocket launcher. Yep, there he is. Yeah, I, could just, I can't kill him. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on. We need to get, we need to get map control. I seriously play this so much better when not stream. I think it's because I'm talking. Cope. I do like this map. I think this is a great twos map. Got that armor at 19. Let's grab this, and we'll go kill him. 18, so that's a 50, uh, 48, sorry. Where is he? Why is he avoiding me? How did he live through, how do, holy shit! He was tanky. God, he must have just gotten like everything. Let's get this. It's gonna be a 27. He killed himself. Kind of didn't expect him to fall out of the air there. He's... Is, 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 let's go, is. I don't know what that middle armor takes to respawn. There's a big one. Is. E, Z, clap. Wow, I uh, was off by like a couple frames on my weapon switch. Now I'm on the prowl. I think I saw this armor spawn. Yeah, it was. Hey, buddy, you want to come out and play? Where is he? He went under me. Wow. 
Get the fuck out of here. Easy clap. Man, I'm only getting one kill off those strengths. It's kind of sad. Okay, let's start working on timers again. I can't keep him in my head, man. He was just over here. Which way did he run? I think playing with sound would make it easier, too. I did hit that next. Oh, I hit that one, too? And that one? How much health does this bitch have right now? I hit, what, four nexus into him? I hit him for like, <laughs> I did like 300 damage. Yeah, you're a little bit squishier when you don't have all the power-ups, aren't ya? Wow, you hit the laser? Oh, thank God I defended that. All right, let's get everything now. Yeah, dude, you weak when you don't have armor, dude? You weak when you don't have map control? Wah! I think the bots have perfect knowledge of the armors. He has armor now. He definitely picked up that armor. Yeah, he did. Fighting for... Oh my god, he's gonna kill me. He's gonna kill me. Oh! Oh! I need this armor. This armor is way more important than weapons. I need to stop prioritizing weapons over armor. I think that's one of my biggest weaknesses against these bots. Yeah, get the fuck out of here, bitch. I do want the next and I want the mortar. I have nothing right now. I don't have my combo. He just got this. Okay, I guess we'll go get the mortar. We should be aggro right now. Oh, no, we're going to get this. Now we're going to get the mortar. I thought I grabbed the mortar, actually. came back you can see how bad I am without the vortex I just don't really know how to get damage out without that there we go got it he just grabbed that armor so I'm probably fucked in this fight he'll probably win this if he has any weapon but I can get this and this oh did I get it I got it I got it Oh my god, I'm a fucking god. I'm a god, chat. I am a god. I bounced him out of my target. He went through here? Who goes through here? <laughs> 39. But yeah, I'm not really doing anything correctly here. To be honest, this game is a lot easier when you can hear the game. Because then you can, like, I don't know, know where they are. Did that mortar hit him? I don't know how much weakness, how weak he is right now. How much weakness he has. Who says it like that? There we go. Ease. And we get this. I think this is about to spawn. <laughs> Bro! No! No! I got stuck in a little nook! Ease, ease, ease. Fucking ease, dude. Didn't even have to think about it. This dude's so bad. What a big noob, man. Uh -huh. Ooh, 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 ooh. How much health does he have? I thought I had map here. He's about to get that. Fuck, fuck. He's gonna kill me. I probably just shouldn't pursue him. I should just get this armor. Easy. E 
Easy clap. Easy clap. He got this armor. Oh, no, it's up. Oh, he had no armor, boy. Let's go. Oh, what up, buddy? Where you at? No health or armor? You're so weak. Oh, did I get every armor and health spawn? Oh, boo-hoo. Are you going to die in two hits here? Ooh, I missed that? Oh. Oh. I don't have enough ammo. Shit, I've been managing my ammo. There we go. Now we're good. Again. Ease. 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 Ease, dude. Ease. Ease. Look how much more damage I did, dude. I blasted his ass. He had eight kills, and I killed myself twice. All right. All right. All right. Woo. Woo. Okay, chat. Let's, uh, we're going to start off with a poll today. You ready? Prediction. Start prediction. Uh, whose fault is the race condition? Gamozo? Kimu? Um... Oh, I can't say whose fault is the race condition because it's uh, not compliant with the community guidelines. Um, thread, uh, thread unsafety condition. There we go. Oh, I can't do that either. Uh, is it Gamozo or Kimu's bug? Jesus Christ. I can't do that? What? Not compliant? Holy shit. <laughs> Who did the boo boo? Oh, uh, maybe soft band. You think I'm soft banded? All right, all right. So here's the bug. Here's the bug. So, um. Okay, so I guess we're gonna have to do uh, We'll do Kimu up here And we'll run it here Yesterday the rest of yet to come I don't know how this thing works Okay Okay, so we have a log.txt here, and we have a log server here. And this is basically the internal, like, datagrams that I'm sending. Um, and basically, uh, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to figure out why I'm dropping dgrams. So this is the client side, this is the server side. So we'll put the, we'll put the server side up here now, okay? So the client side... Um, oh, this is a good log. Okay, I have to run it until I get the issue to occur. Um, it's, uh, let's add 16 threads. I do think it's my fault, chat. I don't know. Well, I think it might be Kimu's fault that it's my fault. Does that make sense? It might be Kimu just being ass. <laughs> um... Na, 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 na. That's running client. 
And then here's the server. Okay, so we're gonna open VLC. So you can see it's logging all of this shit, all of these like IPC messages that it's sending these datagrams. Um, that didn't, oh, that worked. So when this says client closed with 96, 9622, that means the client ended the conversation with 9,600 pending messages. And that basically means that like I dropped a message somehow, okay? And I don't know how I'm dropping a message. Me. 30 minute prediction, so much time to gather info. Yeah, this won't be fixed in 30 minutes. It will be, it'll probably be fucking five hours for all. I, like, I'd be happy if I fixed this today. <laughs> la 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 la. La, 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 la. Okay, so, uh, if we look at the log here, and then we look at this log, uh, you'll find that this... Oh, that's invoking callbacks. That's not what I would expect. How is that? How is that? Is this correct? Oh, this is... Let's see if we dropped a packet here. Um, 9-2? Oh, we just sent the 9-2. Wait, what? I might be printing the wrong UID here. I might be printing the wrong UID. Are these all the same UIDs? Do I not have any 7 AAs? No, I do. Client close with 0. So that, that finished. If we look at 7 AA, the last sent was, uh, yeah, 11382. So that was fine. Three three eight four two. I mean, I I have sent way. No, I haven't sent more than that. How are there pendings? Let me see if that number means what I think it means. It might not. I might I might be dumb. Okay, K okay, chat. I might be dumb. <laughs> What is the print that we're looking at here? Client closed. State lock on wrap trace. Oh, those are undelivered. Oh, wait. We might have killed this too early. Um... Oh, here's the last firing. There we go. That's what we want. We want 24210 and 92. So we send it 24210. Um and we get a 24210. We get a 24210 uh which is on port 9, we get 18 bytes. And we get a 24212 on port 10. Okay, so this is what's confusing to me. How am I receiving 24212 on port 10 while at the same time, uh, like how am I sending, how am I sending on the same port twice? This is, this should not be possible, right? 
because that port should not be available for use until it's been consumed. Okay, does that make sense? So that's, that's what we're debugging right now. This is literally what we're debugging. Somehow we're sending a message on the same port twice, and somehow we're receiving only the second message. Right? Does that make sense? 24212, uh, 11 actually. So there's no 11 in this log. This is on a different uh, connection entirely. You can tell by the hash. But we receive, uh, we receive on a 24212 from port 10, and here we send a 24212 on port 10. That is 27 bytes, but we dropped a packet, right? We sent this packet and we dropped it. So that either means that somehow we're reusing a port twice that we shouldn't be, or something's happening. Now, here's my suspicion. What's a port in this context? It's a, uh, it's a, it's a shared memory region. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cuddle with the cannoli. Maybe that will help us, okay? Um... So, we are sending a 24211 on port 10. Now, here's what's sus. You can see almost all of these are allocating on different ports, except for, like, this, which blasts two. Sometimes... Like, if there's not that much contention, like, we see these go through, right? We see a 24198. Um, on a 9-2. Yeah, so we get a 36, and then it's a long time before 9 comes in. When 9 comes in, we receive it on the same port. That's totally fine, right? We're able to use the same port twice as long as it's not contended, right? So... We need to figure out where this, uh, 2 for 210, um, yeah, that should not happen, okay? So, here's the, here's the primitive. So, when we send a message, we use a send pipe, we allocate a buffer, and here's what we do to allocate a buffer. Uh, that's receive. There, uh, there it is. So, this is an alloc buffer. Um, oh, and buffered... I added that literally for debugging, and I don't need it. No, no, uh -huh. Okay, it's still the same issue. None of that code had any effect. Um, so, a send pipe is going to go through all of the buffers. Okay, it's going to go through all of the buffers, and if, and it's going to loop a shit, it's going to have an outer loop with a back off, and then it's going to have this inner loop that loops a million times with a hot loop, and then it's going to go through for each buffer, is this buffer client not client owned? If it's not client owned, then we own it as the server, as the sender, and then we return, uh, we return access to that, All right? So that send print is then on our, so sending, so this will give you a chunk writer with the II, and then this chunk writer will, um, The chunk writer will, uh, yeah. So chunk writer, you do send or send raw. So we actually use send raw. All you do is you set the written, and then it drops it because you take mute self. So when it drops it, it sets the length for that index that we allocated that we know was server owned. We uh, get a sequential number, so we get a sequence. For the packet that we're sending, this is the number. This is like 2 for 211. We then print that. Then we store that sequence ID as the sequence. And then we set that it's client owned with release ordering. Right? Does that not make sense? 
fill in the length, fill in the uh, sequence, and then set that it is client owned. And then the client does receive, and receive is going to go through the buffers. So it's try receive, so it'll sweep through the buffers once. So we'll go through all of the buffers. It will check if it's client owned. If it's not client owned, it's server owned, so it literally skips it. If it is client owned, then it gets the sequence, checks it against our ticket, which is checking if it's the right receive. If it is, it gets the length, and then it actually does the thing, and then calls invoking callback. So, how are we not, how is this not working? <laughs> that, I feel like that's a fine primitive. We move ownership from the client, or from the server to the client, and then this, uh, it's then owned for the client for this entire duration. The two stores are not sequentially consistent. It doesn't matter. I, I legitimately, I think it's a long jump, man. I think, so this whole thing only works if and only if the, uh, this alloc buffer, this takes a mute self. This only works if this takes a mute self. And I think that this is potentially being called twice. That's my concern, is I think this function is somehow being called twice. That's the only way I could see this failing in this way. In which case, it will just do this again because we don't reserve that buffer, right? We rely on the fact that when it's server owned, no one else can be allocating buffers, right? Obviously, if the server can call this twice, then it can allocate the same buffer twice and we'd observe this behavior. But it can't because it takes a mute self. So I don't understand. So what we can do is we can put a little debug on this. Pen. Uh, atomic U size, a U64 is in scope. Okay, nice. So you have an atomic U64. Here's what I'm gonna do. Unsafe code making a mute out of thin air. Nope. I do this all on safe rust. Um. I mean, I do do some lifetime erasure stuff. It could be my fault. Uh, let's see. Um, self debug, uh, fetch add one ordering sequentially consistent, doesn't matter. And then when we return this buffer, we're going to debug fetch sub. We're going to assert that this is zero. We're going to assert that this is zero. Don't you need sequentially consistent or release store? I do have a release store. I, I literally do. See? Release. And it doesn't matter because it's x86. But I, I literally do. It's not that. It's not a it's not a memory ordering thing because I don't I don't make that mistake. That's a noob mistake for noobs. Uh you probably missed it because release and relaxed visually look almost identical. Okay. That's good to know. Oh, fetch sub, that should be one. Oh, okay. Yeah, so we're not... Uh... 
Um, I don't know if it's working or not. Let's just run it again. There we go. This is what I expect. There, here's a great example of a deadlock. So it's always the first one. This one fires. Uh, this firing. Two, four, two, two, one. It's going to be the exact same issue. We send a 36 on two, two, one, two, two, two. And we probably got a two, two, one. Uh, two, two, uh, two, four, two, two, one. On 17. Yeah, we get that. And then we got a 27. So we missed 22. I don't understand how this is possible. Load that. Do I see right through my my masquerade? This could happen if drop isn't getting called. This could happen in a situation where drop doesn't get called. Uh, self is a chunk writer. Chunk writer stores a... I should be able to... Uh, that's mempipe. I feel like in the chunk writer, I can actually store mutable to the send pipe. I think. I think I can store the send pipe in there. Uh, 307 differs in mutability on this. Uh, this is self. Uh, get the pipe. Yep, self mem pipe. And then that is pipe. And we'll do the same thing down in send. Um self dot we call it mempipe dot mempipe we'll change this uh from mempipe to send pipe um Is there reporting out of order in the log? No, and it doesn't matter anyways. Because I'm reordering it in my head. Uh, mempipe is self. Chunk writer does not have this field. Oh yeah, it's send pipe. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's see if this helps at all. Um... Three seventy seven. Yep, this is send pipe dot mem pipe. If you're down, boy, then you down. Maybe you don't want to go to town. This is send pipe. Yeah. Oh, all these are send pipe. Oh, these are just pipe. And I think I have raw pipe or something, raw. 
this is on a send pipe. Oh, no, I don't. Oh, no, I uh, that actually is fine. Let pipe is equal to, and then we can do this at the very end. Pipe is equal to, uh, self dot, uh, send pipe dot raw. Unsafe ref D ref. That gets us the raw pipe. Beautiful. We don't use pipe in here. Nope. Okay, so now... And that still builds. Um, okay, so that now takes mute send pipe. So we made the lifetime a little stricter here. Because uh, I don't think that was invariant before. But now that's invariant because it's a mutable reference. And we assert that when we call alloc buffer... We assert that we are the only one allocating a buffer. And then when we drop a buffer from what we returned, we assert that we're the only ones there as well that had it. Okay, and if this is not true, then it means that somehow we're calling that function twice. Watch, does it just works now? I think, uh, actually, I don't think that one worked. Yeah, we still are missing some on that. Um, so let's look for the last firing on this. Last firing is 24216. Same, same thing. Uh, 24216, we got the callback. We get 36. And then the next one that we get out of that port is 8. How is this possible? How is this possible? How is this possible? What the fuck? This makes no sense. Um, Alec Buffer returns a chunk writer. Then is it a receive side issue? If it's not client owned, skip it. Oh. Wait. Hmm. No, I don't get it. I don't get it, chat. How does this work? I mean, it doesn't. So all of our locking is on client owned. Client owned starts out as false. This only does this if it's false. This then sets it to true. This ignores it if it's false. This then sets it back to false. Are we somehow giving the ownership back twice? I don't think that's possible though. Oh, it's going to be a really simple bug, isn't it, chat? We're going to hate ourselves when we find out what the bug is. It's going to be embarrassing, isn't it? Um... 
Um, are we somehow giving ownership back twice do the atomics go across processes yes they do Do you know for sure if it's on the receiver or sender side? Well, I know the sender's sending it twice. If it's not client owned, skip it. I don't get it because it has to be server owned here for us to allocate it has to be server owned let me give the index of that thing the pipe number of bytes written then a raw pointer to that chunk and then here we do kind of the same thing here we give ownership Um, it's not atomic ordering. It's literally release on client owned. Unless shared memory has different properties than I'd expect. I would expect that it's just the same page mapped into both. Yep. There's our maps. Read and write, map shared. One's for the receive pipe, one's for the send pipe. It's literally the exact same thing. It's not orderings, I've done that before. It's just, that's just, it's not orderings. Stop. It's not orderings. Holy shit. Uh, let's see. Client owned. Load that. Load that. Like on the x86, this would work with all relaxed as well. Like it would be identical. It, it, it does not matter. Um, even if it's not using the orderings, it's still correct because it's x86. Stores can't go before other stores. Since there's no store reordering, it's always, that store is always the last one. Which means that these appear before this store appears. Always on x86. It does not matter. You don't move ownership if callback fails. So I was, yeah... Um, I don't think that makes sense because I expect someone else to try and consume it. And maybe it's failing in a loop, but I don't think it is.
I guess, wouldn't we see the same behavior if the callback failed in the loop? Because it would just keep trying to reprocess it? But I'm pretty sure I added prints for this, but fuck it, we'll add the panic here. I swear to God, if this is it, I'm gonna Sudoku. Uh, client closes zero, so that one it didn't repro. Sometimes it just doesn't, uh, um, yeah, yep, we're still getting the same issue. Okay, we can do the same thing, look for firing, look for the last one to fire, two, two, four, four, five, one. There, we got, uh, we don't get a 52. And then here, we send a 51 and a 52. What's interesting is these are always being sent on the same port, which is interesting. Like, this only happens when there's port reuse, which makes me feel like... I mean, I could change it to a ternary state where, like, it revokes ownership. That, like, I just don't understand how that would happen. But we can add that literally just for debugging. Fail the same as sequence number? Yeah, that's that's expected. Client owned, this is gonna be an atomic U size. Okay. So client owned is gonna be uh or zero is server owned. If this is equal to zero, we own it. And we're we're gonna compare exchange it. Uh, we're gonna compare it to zero, exchange it with a one, and then we're gonna do ordering require, ordering relaxed. So, if, if that switch happened, then we got it, uh, exclusive access to it, right? Oh my god, am I retarded? No. No, I'm not. Uh, but we'll see. This will definitely... This is now putting a hard spin lock on those buffers. Uh, clients owned. Uh, this is an atomic U size. Starts off as zero. Zero is going to mean server owned. Then we're going to try and switch from server owned to server filling using acquire and relaxed and then we're going to store two which is then going to mean client owned and then here we're going to do a load this if it's equal to two uh if it's not equal to two so if it's not fully filled in and client owned we ignore it and then we move ownership back as uh server owned right let's see if this deadlocks or something or it just works and before works that works coincidence coincidence Like, this is more correct code, but I just didn't think I needed this. So now it works, I think. I just don't know how I write to the same pipe twice. But I do think we did fix it. Yeah, this seems to always be working now. I just don't understand how this doesn't work.
Um, we're still not done yet. So, somehow it's allocating another one from the same index, and I just don't know how. How does it allocate from the same index twice? That we should still have things where we get sequences of the same Alex. Yeah, which is good. It will only go to the next one if there is contention. Why do we have to reserve that? Really, the part that matters is this. I just don't understand how we allocate twice. Because this takes mute self. And we put that we put that check in here. Like, the only way this could happen is if the sender Alex twice. Because we didn't change anything on the client side. The client side still checks for one specific value, the true value, the client owned value. And then it sets it back to server owned. So we didn't change any of the logic here. So it means that it has to be a sender bug. And the sender bug is that we are sending twice. And how is that possible? And now I do some erasure of lifetimes, okay? We do some transmutes. But I don't understand how we didn't detect that with the other thing. This is fine, it's just a little bit slower, theoretically. So, I mean, this is technically more correct code. I just don't understand. Because now this doesn't need to be mute self, I don't think. Now I can use, I think, the same pipe for all transactions, I think. Um... Nevertheless, we're still going to leave it mute because it's supposed to be single producer, or multiple consumer. And somehow we're just having multiple alloc buffers. And I just don't know how. How would we allocate the same buffer twice? Let's see. Alloc buffer borrow mute this we do erase the lifetimes relax chat it's fine uh that's probably the issue but we have to um but we do set active buffer to this and i check on that uh, mmap we alloc buffer, but I have, uh, mmap is turned off right now. I can turn it back on now. It's so fucking weird. I just... With single producer, I just don't think this would matter. Right? Why would this matter? I mean, we fixed it, but I don't know how. Receiver calling out, receiver can't alloc, doesn't even have access to it. Oh, I have printouts in Kimu. Oh, uh, where's Kimu at?
I just don't know how there would be two things creating a buffer. That's just, in my opinion, not possible. We alloc here must have no active buffer. I just don't understand. How could, like, this needs borrow mute on a thread local. Like, how the fuck can we possibly allocate twice? How can we have an, like... It must be something I'm missing with Atomics. That's the only thing I can think of is like something with atomics fundamentally doesn't work with that setup. Um, client exited without processing all traces. I think this can happen with, like, abrupt exits of stuff. Get diff. Yep, we added that in clients. Uh, coverage, we just added some prints. Well, you remove those prints. Uh, we then updated those, remove this. We changed client own to a U size now. A U8 will be sufficient. We'll probably change that in a second. And then here we have an outer loop with a 10 milli sleep. Uh, change that to send pipe, written relaxed, release at the end. Okay. Uh, see the buffer states in them. Wrapper U8. Enum buffer states. Um, owned by the sender. Free for use. Uh, currently being filled in by the sender. And then, I don't know, present. Um, buffer is present and owned by the client uh, receiver. Uh, this is states for the um, uh, client owned field. And this is going to be state free as you eight. Client owned, compare exchange, 
Uh, what is it? Buffer state? What did I call it? Buffer state. Uh, buffer state free. Buffer state filling. Acquire ordering on the store. Relaxed ordering on the read. Um, that's fine. And then this is uh, buffer states present. If this is not equal to uh, buffer states uh, present. I'm going to add a quality on this. Drive a uh, partial EQ EQ. Probably not, right? Yeah, 476. Uh, okay. So now we basically lock it down. Switch from free to, free to filling. Acquire ordering and ordering relax. We technically can do relaxed on this. Um, that just atomically switches it from free to filling. Only if it was free, then we own the buffer. Store present. Once it's filled in with release ordering, which is important because the ordering which these appear is important, then we load it with acquire. And if it's present, which we know that will match with the release ordering above, if it's present, uh, if it's not equal to present, then discard it. If it was equal to present, then we had acquire ordering, then we know these are present. And then at the very end, we store zero. Um, this is. Uh, buffer states, uh, free as U8. Right? So, we go from free to filling. Then this will convert it into present, which we know that it has to be filling. And then this will load it, and if it's not present... Discard it, and then this will free it at the end with release ordering. Release ordering doesn't matter here either, right? That can be relaxed as well. Um, I think. Let me see. Is this okay? Is this guaranteed to happen after the loads? What about loads going past the store? There's no rights here. I need to make sure that these loads don't get reordered after the store. I, 
I don't even know if you can do that, can you? I don't think you can do that. What resource do you use? The C++ resource is probably the most specific one. Acquire. That makes sure that these are filled in from the previous store, right? This makes sure that... The release makes sure that these stores complete prior to this. I think C++ just might not even have uh, alpha support. Hmm. Um... Do I have to do a manual acquire fence? Since the store depends on the right, can't reorder that. It depends on the previous loads, yeah. Um, let's see. I guess this only needs to be atomic. The ordering doesn't matter here. It's not like the loads can be moved on the same fucking thread, right? On my CPU, on any even weekly ordered CPUs, they're going to look the same on the current core. It's, it's only the view from across threads. It's not the view of its own thread. So this just needs to atomically say it's done with the buffer. Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking. I was being dumb. So, what are our orderings now? This relaxed ordering. Yep, this is just atomically switching from free to filling. Uh, these are relaxed. This is release, which then makes these finish. So, initializing these other fields is done by the time that this finishes. Um, that is relaxed because that's just an atomic. This is acquire because it then expects these to be filled in. That's totally fine. This can be relaxed because it's just an atomic store. But yeah, to the same core, even on weekly ordered cores, it will always look the same to the same core. It will look different to other cores. But yeah, it's an absolutely dependent operation. So this is fine. Maybe. Okay. Compiler can reorder atomic stores to different locations if they're relaxed. Yeah, but it won't be able to because it's dependent. 
right? By the time you get here, the condition has happened and stuff. So it's impossible to reorder this in this context. Okay, that's no longer printing stuff, which is good. Um... And I think this is why I was having some symbol resolution issues. Let's see what we got here. Nice. That's pretty good. That looks good. And I do have this panic in here, the assertion, I think. Oh, did I remove it? This. Um, is this okay? Yeah, I think threads would have errors if we hit this. Yeah, I'm okay with this. This is going to assert that all the traces have been processed by the time the thread exits cleanly. So if we were to ever somehow have something... Um, all right, so now this should be good. However, I think I might make this blocking. I might make these sends block, and I think I can add support for this. Um... um so here's my here's my hypothetical. My hypothetical is that I can have um my hypothetical is that I can let's say I run my program. So here's main. And then uh, this creates two threads. And this, like, uh, deal opens. Wonder why it wasn't working before? I do too. I really do. So then we have deal open. Um... And then over here, we can have this like Ron's deal open code. So the problem is this is reporting on its own thread. So this is going to a different cannoli here. Let's just say C is cannoli. And this is going to a different cannoli. And this one is blocking. This one is blocking on the processing of traces, but it's still executing. Um, which means that it has time to tell this one, like, hey, you can run this thing. So I think what I want to do is I want to make mmaps blocking. I think I want to pause execution on mmaps. Right? Does that make sense? Because, yeah, you can create two threads. This can deal open. Even though the mmap is successful, if we're blocking, another thread isn't going to execute a shared object until it's been informed or unlocked. However, we allow execution while we have our reorder buffer running, while it's not processed that trace yet, which means that we might not symbolize some things. Right? 
Um, so there's probably some things in here, like these TMC ends, these are probably wrong. Or we don't have symbols for this module. Um. Let's see. Do we have these every time? What are those? Something like a signal arriving at the right time, re-entering that syscall hook? Yeah, I don't know. We shouldn't be able to get mutable access twice. The only thing I can think of is like set jump and long jump. Because those would invalidate Rust's safety checks. Like set jump and long jump literally break Rust. Okay, TMC end... This might just be something that doesn't have symbols loaded, maybe. Or we don't have symbols for this thing. Let's see what this is. Uh. Hmm. No, we're out of bounds of that. Yeah, we're out of bounds of this. So we're in a different library. And I think we're in a library that probably hasn't had symbols loaded yet. That is my theory. Is that we're probably loading symbols? Thoughts? Thoughts? Thoughts and prayers? I am curious though. Let's uh let's see if we can debug this issue. We're just gonna assert that client owned dot load ordering relaxed is not equal to filling as U8. And we'll say sequentially consistent, just to be a bitch. That should never be filling. We should never get a buffer that's filling. Blopping, blocking and that makes sense though. Yeah. Yeah. Because I need to I do not want it to execute while we're processing symbols even though for that thread, for that thread, we symbolize um we symbolize in the serialized buffer in the trace uh wherever it is. This trace is sequential for a given thread, but another thread is running its own engine at the same time, and the other thread might be executing code in that uh, DLL or whatever was loaded. Um, because this will call mmap, it's buffered, it's queued up for a sequential trace for reordering and stuff, but it's actually executing until the buffer is completely full, which is, could be literally hundreds of thousands or millions of instructions which is enough time to release a lock which then allows another thread to start executing code in that thing um so yeah so i think the way that we'll do that is we have our mmap callback in cannoli Um Oh, up here. So, mmap mmap hooks are back in and then these are going to send this payload and I think we'll do like send blocking. Mhm, mm mhm, mm mhm. Mm I think the others do send raw. Yeah. We're just going to call this send blocking. So we do send raw for our main payloads. Um, these will be send blocking. 
And we'll do it for both M map and M on map. Okay, so now he just named it. So this should still build. Doesn't it doesn't actually block. Okay. So now that that does send blocking, uh we're going to update number of bytes written. Add that copy from non overlapping. To send. Remain. Um, this blocks until the client consumes this data. Uh, actually, oh shit, we have to go all the way up, don't we? Basically, what I'm thinking is I can get the index here. Uh, self index, and then we can drop self. Right, so this is uh, save the index for the buffer, uh, drop the buffer, so it sends, wait for the buffer to have sent. So then we know that that buffer is uh, filling, because we're working on a chunk writer, and a chunk writer is created after it's filling. Um, so we know that it's filling, uh, so we can do loop. Uh, or while, while, uh, uh, we also need access to the pipe. Send pipe dot raw. So we get that. So now we have the pipe while the pipe dot. Uh, should be, um, client owned on the index. Um, load ordering relax. Ordering doesn't matter here. While it's not equal, while it is not equal to buffer states, um, free. Right? So while the client owned relaxed is not equal to free, so that's going to block, right? As you ate. Does this just work? It's definitely slower to launch, but that's okay because we're blocking things until we've like run NM and NM is very slow. Yeah, there's still a bunch of TMC ends. I don't know if this is a blocking yet, though. That's going to wait for the buffer to be free. This is going to set it to free. This is going to invoke the callback. And that is... Ooh. Yep, it's still not fully correct. This is blocking. The call to mmap is blocking. Try receive. We call parse pay payload. Ah. So. It is unlocked when this closure returns. And then we don't actually... We don't actually give it to the user. Well, no, this will call mmap. So it's blocking in mmap, 
right? So these calls to like TM map are blocking. Now it's no longer blocking in the trace. Because the trace is now separate. So then we're queuing that up to be handled sequentially later. And I think what we can do is we can just make... Um, it's really just mmap and munmap are non-blocking. Right? So now if these go directly... This means we might load symbols for something? Like, there's still technically a race here because we can load symbols for things in mmap before, like, prior to... We can load symbols earlier than they are loaded in the trace. Which is a little weird. But it's true. But I'm okay with it. Um... But yeah, mmap will be blocking, because anything in the closure is blocking. The closure is where we handle these callbacks. The trace callbacks are done afterwards. Um, but yeah, this will be blocking in try-receive, because try-receive, uh, the sender blocks until the try-receive sets it as free again, which means that this entire closure will be blocking the the sender will block until this closure finishes which means uh it parses the payload and in this case the payload is a single packet and it's going to be an mmap packet so it's going to block for the mmap stuff which means mmap is blocking which means that we can load symbols before the things are loaded but i'm just not worried about that edge case like the amount of shit we have to add to handle that edge case is way too much um, so now we have to get the lock on the global symbols. So sims in this case is going to be the same. Uh, this is now going to be a none. Neither of these are going to log anything. Um. You know what? I didn't even care about sequencing then. Do I? Um, are they sequenced? No, they're not sequenced. So I think I still want to process the trace, but the trace is now going to be uh, just U64s. Just raw, raw PCs. Um, this also means we can M unmap things before they're um, unmapped. Uh, which is a little weird. For PC and trace. And then symbols up here. So exec, this just returns PC. Such that the PCs will be sequenced. Then we get the symbols here. MF event should only go to the trace callback. I don't know. It's hard. But mmap now is blocking. Uh, we're not using munmap at all, so we might as well just comment this out temporarily. Sims 150 doesn't need to be mute here. Yep, that's fair. Okay. I don't know if this is going to fix that issue. Um, we never unmap things now. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, assertion failed. Client owned is not equal to filling. Yeah, so we hit filling buffers. I don't know how. So we hit this assertion that we threw in here. Uh, oh, and we do have an unwind. CPU loop eg in JIT exit. JIT exit. Oh, 
Oh, that's a borrow mute error. That makes sense because that panics. Um. Did that panic? I think it panicked. Um, JIT entry unknown. Can I do full? Am I going to get anything from here? Couldn't connect. That's fine. Bam. We're blasting, and then we panic. You know what? We panic right at an exec. Is that a coinky dink? I think not. I think not. This is the panic. Trace, backtrace, hook, unwind, panic, send pipe. Yeah, JIT entry. So we're in JIT entry. So somehow we hit JIT entry twice. I just, I don't understand how that's possible. Does it ever execute guest code on multiple threads for multiple threads? I, uh, it shouldn't. Remember, this is a thread local, right? Hook state is a thread local. The thread local. So somehow, somehow we are invoking a function twice. Uh, let's see. We do some weird erasure shit here. I think, but we don't have an active buffer. We have no active buffer. I do wonder if it's like a timer or an interrupt or something. Git entry. Nothing else, Alex, a buffer. Right? MMAP does, but it's not MMAP. Because if I turn off MMAP, if I go to these and I set these to none, so I disable the MMAP hooks, we're going to lose access to symbols, but that's fine. Right, these are all unknown, which is fine. But we still hit it. Right? So it's not related to the M maps, which means that it has to be not M map, not M unmap. This is the only other occurrence in the file is entry. So somehow we're hitting this code twice on the same thread. And that is what I don't understand because hook state creates a new hook. It's its own state. Not very familiar with uh, binary exploitation. How many are, how often are bugs found? It really varies by the target. Any good resources for learning this? Not really. So yeah, like how, how am I, how am I hitting it twice on the same thread? You, you, are you picking up what I'm putting down? Where that's confusing as fuck? The only thing I can think of is we're like running to here and we get 
an interrupt like in here like between these two points we get like a signal i don't know maybe a user registers a uh a timer signal and they get like a, a timer signal when this happens and then that causes it to long jump out which causes exit to run but exit doesn't do anything because the buffer hasn't been set up yet. Um, you know what? Let's debug this with Firefox. Uh, user lib Firefox. User lib Firefox, Firefox. I think Firefox crashes in a different unique way. Yes. I don't know yet. Let's clear and this. Uh, that's failing on the load filling. And then we got a borrow mute error, which makes sense because we panic inside of here. Can a filling ever fail? No. We got a chunk writer. The only way this can happen is if a chunk writer doesn't get dropped. Right? And interestingly, we allocate the index, the sequence ID here. So we sequence it on drop, not alloc buffer. If we sequenced it, then we would be dropping packets. So I think what's happening is sometimes it's not getting dropped. That would, that would be the path. We'd be putting this in here. Well, we can't. We can't put it in here because then this assertion would fail. We assert that there's not an active buffer. We take it out here. I think there's just another jump we're not handling or something. I think the race window is between here and uh, here. I think this is the race window. You have to alloc a buffer and then on its way back, before it sets it up as the active buffer, you then have to get a signal which then causes like a long jump let's try it Uh, poison on host signal handler. Wake me up inside. Wake me up inside. I would expect that would be poison. So I guess we haven't entered the JIT yet. Jump TB. Yeah, these just jump into the TB. Do you think they check if they're in a in a TB when they um uh cannoli? Why do I do it here? B 
Because it's a return. 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 I poison on returns. Whoa. Let's see. Let's see what we got. Never was and never will be. Yeah, I do think... So, we'll figure out what the bug is, but I think it's literally Kimu's fault. Not our fault. Nothing. No signal? Okay. If it's a signal thing, it also counts as Kimu's fault. Good entry. Now how youth be changing. So how youth got everybody fooled. At I call stack. Lost in your life. Unless it is my fault, but I don't think so. Oh, uh, so dope. Mm, dot star open. Chat, do you like this code? Do you like code that uses fucking set jump? Why do you have... Why are you using fucking set jump for your disassembler? Jesus Christ. We shouldn't be using any monitor code, none of these. It's really just CPU exec translate all, and then I have not actually seen the disassembler one. This is interesting. And fire away all of you. Come on, link that shit. <laughs> My hands Nope. Nope, it's not that. Uh, my whole system freeze? Well, my system's dead. My music works. I don't know if you can hear me. Did I just panic my machine? Um, okay. Okay, sick.
Is something ooming? It feels oomy. Something feels oomy. Well, you probably aren't seeing anything right now. Let's see if I can recover this. Did I recover it? Did I do it? Am I still here? I think I'm still here. Oh, oh, let's see if I can connect. Uh... 